In this video, we are going to walk through the main screen in FBA Scan. At the top left hand corner is the menu button, which gives you access to the settings and account information. Next to the menu button is the current operating mode. Switch between operating modes by going to menu operating modes. To the left is the current number entered. You can tap here to enter a number manually or use the ABC keyboard for search titles. In the same area is the voice search. Tap the microphone icon to speak the title or ISBN of an item. To the left is the cost of goods. Tap to enter a preset value of the item's cost. You can manually input a value by tapping on the profit price, which will open up the profit calculation window. Starting from the right side of the app, below the current operating mode is the target list price. This is the price that is used to determine profit as shown by the highlighted offer price in orange. In the middle is the buy, reject, or a custom message for the current item based on either the basic triggers, advanced triggers, or the newly profit triggers. You can tap on this area to display the trigger results, which will list out an explanation why the item was a buy, reject. To the right, is the profit based on the current selected price highlighted in the column. You can tap on this box to display a detailed breakdown of the profit calculation. Below the target price is the product image. You can tap the image to go to the Amazon product page for this item. Next to the image is the product title and product category. Just below is the used buy box, new buy box, Amazon price, and the trade in value. The trade-in value is available when performing a live search for certain items. Below the used buy box is the sales rank. The first number is the current sales rank, and the second is the average over the past six months. The average sales rank will give you more accurate information on the popularity of this item. The background color can change based on the current sales rank number. Next to it is the days of sales. The number of days out of the past six months that an item has sold at least one copy. For example, if this item sold 44 days with at least one sell for the past six months, the app will show days of sales of 44 for this item. To the left is the product weight of this item. 